I can't think of anything, anything worse than licking my hands. Suck your head. <laughs> Suck your head. You leave my cheese out in the wind. Sausage king. What kind of sausage? I could smell my own children a mile away. <laughs> You're gonna get an ass whooping, you little creeper. Herpes. Threesome. Guys, I am hearing you loud and clear. When you want comedy, you get comedy. I know I was doing too many westerns and too many action and big, strong, hard men. You know, comedy is where it started and I think a lot of you guys are here for the comedy. So we need to do the comedy. And today we are doing Ferris Bueller. Bueller's Day Off. The only things I know about this movie is it was recommended by a patron and it has Matthew, Matthew Broderick, is that his name? Well, it is now. He was the voice of Simba, but adult Simba. And also he's married to Sarah Jessica Parker. She is from Sex and the City. And that's how I know him. If you guys are sick of not seeing comedies, then you have to subscribe <laughs> and you have to comment and you have to, um, wow, I'm off to a good start. Post notifications, comment, subscribe, comment, post notifications. There's another one, subscribe. Comment, post notifications, like, like the video. <laughs> Patreon, also check out Patreon too. Comedy, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and play. Oh, I forgot to say it's very stormy again here today. So if you hear any banging, then that's what it is. It's probably like chairs and stuff getting banged against my house. Ferris. Ferris. Tom! I don't think I've ever known anyone to be called Ferris before. What's the matter, Ferris? Papa? Honey, feel his hands. They're cold and clammy. Papa? He's faking. I'm fine. I get up. No! No! no. I have a test today. No! <laughs> he's faking because he's got a test. Oh, fine. What's this? What's his problem? Oh, I know who she is. Jeannie? Is that you? <laughs> I can't see that far. Jeannie? Jennifer Grey, that's her name. She's in Friends. I can't believe this. If I was bleeding out my eyes, you guys would make me go to school. This is so unfair. It's because he's the boy. You have your health. Be thankful. <laughs> That's it. I want out of this family. <laughs> Boys get away with everything. My office will know just where I am if you need me, okay? It's nice to know that I have such love and caring parents. <laughs> you get better, pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Oh my god. It's <laughs> a BS. They bought it. They did. Well, that's loud. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. It's because you're the boy. I'm telling you. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? <laughs> so what's your plans then? You fake a stomach cramp, and when you're bent over... What's he doing? You lick your palms. It's a little childish and stupid, but then so is high school. Ugh. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. What was you doing with your trophy? I do have a test today. That wasn't bullshit. It's on European <laughs> socialism. I do that with my hair. It's quite buff. It's not that I condone fascism, or any ism for that matter. Isms, in my opinion, are not good. Isms. Yeah, he's, he's right. Adams. Here. Adam Lee. Here. Adamson. Here. Anderson. Here. Here. There's so many A's. Bueller. Bueller. Not here. He must have a pretty special day coming up if there's a whole movie about it. I can't think of anything, anything worse than licking my hands. You don't know where they've been. Where are you? I'm taking the day off. Now get dressed and come on over. What if your mom or dad comes home? I feel like complete shit, Ferris. I'm sorry to hear that. Now come on over here and pick me up. What's the rules for driving in America? Do you have to be 15? And you can just start driving straight away? You don't need to take a test or anything. Cameron is so tight that if you stuck a lump of coal up his ass, in two weeks you'd have a diamond. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Took a minute, but I got it. He has missed an unacceptable number of school days. <laughs> in the opinion of this educator... How many you got in there? <laughs> I have no reservation whatsoever about holding him back for another year. Oh, another year. So far this semester, he has been absent nine times. What's a semester? Like a term or a whole year. Wake up and smell the coffee, Mrs. Bueller. 
It's a fool's paradise. He is just leading you to- Oh, I'd be livid if someone spoke to me like that. <laughs> I'd be straight down to his office. Nine days. What? I asked for a car, I got a computer. How do you know how to do that? Grace! <laughs> Sniffing the tip X. I can assure you he is truly a very sick boy. He's a mama's boy. Never had one lesson. <laughs> I can tell. Did it work? Anyone? Anyone know the effects? It did not work and the United States sank deeper into the great... How is anyone ever meant to learn anything from that man? Whoa. Whoa, who said he's sick? A whole bunch of people. They said he's like... Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> said that if Ferris dies, he's giving his eyes to Stevie Wonder. What? <laughs> Do not yank my cord on this. How desperate is the situation? Well, did you see Alien? Yes. The creature was in that guy's stomach? Yes. It kind of feels like that. You see Alien? Yeah, why? Hello? Hi. Hi, Ferris, how's your bod? How did you know it was him? Oh my god, you're dying? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I think I may need a kidney transplant. A kidney transplant? <laughs> think you'll be alive this weekend? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great, maybe I'll see ya. Bye. <laughs> Last thing I need at this point in my career is 1,500 Ferris Bueller disciples running around these halls. There's always one in every school. He's very popular. Geeks, sluts, bloods, waste toys. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Really? Show these kids that the example he sets is a first class ticket to nowhere. Are you gonna go follow him? You sounded like Dirty Harry just then. Dirty Harry, I think that's a cowboy movie. Take a hot bath and then uh, wrap a hot towel around your head. Wrap a hot towel around my head. What does that do? Make yourself some soup. Get a nap, okay? Okay. Hey, Ferris. Yeah. Love you, pal. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> do you not feel bad? Doing that to your poor parents. I'm so disappointed in Cameron. 20 bucks says he's sitting in his car debating about whether or not he should go out. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, a nice car. He's gonna go back in. Is that your house? Do you stay in the forest? Use of the prison. Symbolize. Oh God, boring. None of my classes were like that. Your grandmother has just passed. What? Oh, darling. Oh, honey. <laughs> Who's this girl going out with? So hard to tell these days. I do see her with Ferris Bueller quite a little bit. So hard to tell these days. <laughs> of course it's Ferris. Get me Mr. Peterson's daytime number. This is George Peterson. Oh, you know, it's Mr. Peterson. Hang up and phone him back. Do you still want his daytime number? Yes. You you just produce a corpse and uh, I'll release Sloan. <laughs> I want to see this dead grandmother. <laughs> Did you say you wanted to see a body? Yeah, that's right. Just uh, roll her old bones on over here. And... Wait, is that her actual dad? Ed Rooney's office. Hi, this is Ferris Bueller. Can I speak to Mr. Rooney, please? <sighs> What is going on here? <laughs> How is he managing to do this? You don't like my policies. You can just come on down here it and can't be our my big old. That'll be someone else. Ferris Bueller's online too. Who are you talking to? I'm wondering if it might be possible for my sister to bring home any assignments for my classes that I might need. Why has he got a shirt and tie on? What's he way to do? Yeah, no, I, I, I think I owe you an apology, sir. Well, I should say you do. Okay. A family member dies. And you insult me! What the hell is the matter with you anyway? <laughs> to begin to tell you how embarrassed I am. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole! Half of the school day must have gone by now. Mind your P's and Q's, Buster. Bueller. Ferris Bueller. What are you doing? Oh. Rooney, calm down! Oh, just mother. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? I want you out in front of the school with her. I'd like to have a few words with you, by God. Oh, shit. Wrong move. Don't ask me to participate in your stupid crap if you don't like the way I do it. He's right. <laughs> He's right. Phony phone call to Edward Rooney? Yeah. See you later, pal. I'm going home. Oh, no. Come, no, come on. Don't do that. Have a nice life. Oh, oh Cameron, wait. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> I used to do that. I'm gonna have to ask you for a small favor. Ferrari 250 GT California. Whoa. How do you have that? Ferris, he never drives it. He just rubs it with a diaper. <laughs> Well, he never drives it. But we can't pick up Sloan in your car. Mr. Rooney would never believe Mr. Peterson drives that piece of shit. I like it. It has character. No. No! Ferris, forget it. You're just gonna have to think of something else. It's quite a little shit, is he? How about we run a nice Cadillac? My treat! Ferris Bueller, the little dictator. Oh, Sloan, dear. Hurry along now. <laughs> Do you have a kiss for daddy? Are you kidding? Uh, oh, he's watching. He's watching. So that's how it is in their family. Um, are you not going to question it? <laughs> if you had access to a car like this, would you take it back right away? Neither would I. I'm not a big car fan, so yeah, I think I would take it back. Cars don't excite me. Yeah, so is this high school they're in? Or, like, college? And how old are they? Does he have a licence? If he gets caught driving, what'll happen? Because here, if someone didn't have a licence and they got caught driving, whoa, all hell would break loose. <laughs> Where's all the hats coming from? <laughs> Cameron doesn't seem too bothered now. See, we're collecting money to buy Ferris Bueller a new kidney. They run about 50 Gs or so, so if you could... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you heartless wench! <laughs> Watch your mouth this time. Go suck your head. Suck your head? <laughs> suck your head! I did not achieve this position in life by having some snot nosed punk leave my cheese out in the wind. Leave my cheese out in the wind! <laughs> This is so funny. Something's going on, god damn it. I'm gonna find out what it is. Go follow them. When he looks back on the ruin his life's become, he is gonna remember Edward Rooney. Really? Nothing that you do in high school ever means anything for what you're doing in the future anyway, so it's fine. I want you to take extra special care of this vehicle. Hey, no problem, sir. Don't trust him. He'll sell it. You fellas have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Professional what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Say goodbye to your dad's car. Hey. And there it goes. You'll never see it again. Uh oh. Oh, but he'll have something. He'll have something there. Nice wallpaper. <laughs> it's very 80s. What is it? A dog? Oh, that! Oh, that's what he was doing. I did wonder. It's very clever. He's still a little shit though. <laughs> oh, this is stocks, is it? I've never understood stocks. You want to get married today? I'm serious. What is with today? Why do you want to do everything today? Is he dying? My mother and my father. They're married and they hate each other. It's like that car. He loves the car. He hates his wife. Marriage doesn't do that. A shitty relationship does. I'm Abe Froman. Party of three for 12. Yeah? <laughs> what did you give him? A one? That's right. I'm Abe Froman. The sausage king of Chicago. Sausage king? <laughs> What kind of sausage? You're gonna call the police on me? Fine. As a matter of fact, I'll call them myself. 771. I've had enough of this horsing around. Give me the phone back. You touch me, I yell rat. There's another phone around here somewhere. Find it. What does 771 do? Phone yourself. Is it phone yourself? I don't know. Would you describe him for me, please? Leather jacket, white t-shirt, sweater vest. No way that's working. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, he knows. He's got it. Mr. Froman, this is Sergeant Peterson, Chicago Police. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no way. Thank you. How are you going to pay for your meal? You kids are crazy. Why should he get to do 
whatever he wants, whenever he wants. I'm telling you, it's because he's the boy. Boys and girls get treated different, especially the 80s and 90s. I'm actually amazed that I got the car <laughs> out of the garage. <laughs> I caught Cameron Dick. He's watching you. Mint. Oh, that's you. That's your dad. That's your dad. Well, hello, Jeannie. Who's bothering you now? He's bothering you now. <laughs> Once you back, he's left the school grounds on personal business. What's that supposed to mean? He's a way to follow your brother. It means it's personal and it's none of your business, young lady. Isn't Mrs. Hagel expecting you in consumer ed class? Probably. Wow. Teenagers. What a little asshole. <laughs> You're one of the brightest guys in this business. You know what it takes to push this over the top. I could smell my own children a mile away. Les jeux sont faits. Translation. Game is up. Your ass is mine. Your ass is mine. <laughs> Knock him out. Surprise, I didn't go for it. Look, look, you missed it. What? How many? How long do you have left? Wow, that's some house. I like a house with pillars. <laughs> American houses are always like big numbers as well. I worst goes up to like. 50. <laughs> and then it's a new street. It's Ed Rooney, Ferris. I'd like to have a word with you. I'm sorry. I can't come to the door right now. So much effort for one day off. <laughs> it's going to repeat over again. God damn well who it is. I can't come to the door right now. Check myself to further school absences. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at all the green. Who looks after that? You both work full time. They must have a gardener. Oh, you've lost your shoe. Uh. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. That's Superman. What? Oh, God. Why is it so big? Oh, big dog. It's a big dog. I read. Oh, that's a big bonnie dog. Quick, put the flap down. Quick, quick. Oh, I would, I would have sat in front of it. If you just sat with your back to the flap, then the dog wouldn't have been able to get out. <laughs> Poor Cameron's a third wheel at this point. It's getting late, buddy. We better go get the car back home. What do you mean? We have a few hours. We have until six. I'm sorry. I mean... Until six? What time is it now? Does your school day not end at three? Like ours? Cameron, what have you seen today? Nothing good. What do you mean, nothing good? You don't enjoy yourself when you worry all day. Uh -huh. We went to a museum. We saw priceless works of art. We ate, we ate pancreas. What? Pancreas? Who's pancreas? Looks over there. <gasps> it's your dad! Oh. <laughs> that was real quick. <laughs> Just leave it and move on. Go back to school. <laughs> They're not going to know it's your shoe once he's done with it. Someone's ah! burnt. <laughs> I don't know how he's pulling any of this off, but at least they're all having fun. You know, as long as I've known him, everything works for him. There's nothing he can't handle. I can't handle anything. Yeah, that happens a lot. I've noticed that. If someone can do something, they can do everything all the time. College. Yeah, but to do what? What are you interested in? Nothing. You don't know at that age. You have your whole life to work it out. You're crazy! Yes, totally nuts. Twist and shout. <laughs> Who was meant to be singing? <laughs> He's showing everyone a good time. 
How <laughs> oh, cute! Oh, you're gonna see him this time. <laughs> My granda used to do that dance and I loved it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> How did your dad not see you? That was really loud. There's really loud bits in this movie. Look what Uncle Ed has for you, little f***er. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> funny. Oh my god. It's very popular then. Sleep tight, Pooch. What? Because he ate the flowers. I know it! She's pissed. Uh oh. You're going to get an ass whooping, you little creeper. Ferris Bueller. Wait, who did you think that was? <laughs> she can kick. Yeah, yeah. This student is one of my personal favorites. The miles is going to be sky high if they're just taking that back now. That's been a few hours it's been on the road for. Looks great. Let's roll. <laughs> Here you go. Nice job. Where where to get all this money from? I'd like to know that. <laughs> there is an intruder, male, Caucasian, possibly armed, certainly weird, in. Certainly weird. <laughs> I'm in danger, okay? I am very cute, I am very alone, and I'm very <laughs> protective of my body. <laughs> I'd also like to add that I have my father's gun and a scorching case of herpes. <laughs> she didn't realize that was her head teacher. <laughs> Did she not see him? <laughs> Herpes. It is not your day. It's Ferris's day. How many miles did you say this thing had on it when we left? 126 and halfway between three and four tenths. What is it now? How many miles are on it now? They did 3,000 miles. You can't do that in a couple hours. Thanks. I heard that you were feeling ill. What the hell is that? Because I'm the nurse who likes to... <laughs> what was that? I do not want to see that when I am ill. Cameron? Blink if you understand me. He looks like the guy from 13 Reasons Why. Why don't you come in here? It's really nice. You need to reset him. Help him. Is he breathing? Come on, wake up! Hey! Oh. Oh, he's fine. Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. You're kidding? Oh, <laughs> hey, back. Serves you right. Oh, I do that all the time too much. I'm gonna end up with arthritis. That's Charlie Sheen. <laughs> I know him. Drugs. Are you asking? Why don't you go home? Why don't you put your thumb up your butt? I'm sure he has already. Multiple times. You don't want to talk about your problem? With you, are you serious? I'm serious. Blow yourself. He's probably done that too. <laughs> So you're pissed off because he ditches and doesn't get caught. Basically. You want to spend a little more time dealing with yourself, a little less time worrying about what your brother does. <laughs> That's a good one. Charlie Sheen's very wise. Um, what are you doing? All that shit. I'm tired of it. Best day of my life. What, today? Really? I'm going to miss you guys next year. Aww. It is sad. You can keep in touch. Did you see me change out of my clothes by the jacuzzi? Did you? <laughs> yes, he <you> did. <laughs> I thought you were catatonic. He was watching. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. Threesome. I better check down the car. Oh. Hey, Dad! Uh oh. 
What are they actually doing? Trying to make it go backwards? The miles aren't coming off. The miles aren't coming off, going in reverse. Of course they're not. That's not how it works. Huh. She'd be going up. I gotta take a stand. My old man pushes me around. I think everyone does. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm it's gonna so take sick off. of his shit. It's gonna take off. Who do you love? Who do you love? You love a car. There it goes. Oh, oh, oh. One more. One more. Dented the shit out of it. <laughs> You've never seen him behave like that before. My father will come home, he see what I did. I can't hide this. He's sick of being a pushover. I don't care, I really don't. I'm just tired of being afraid. Of your own dad. Bastard's face. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe you went a bit too far. What'd I do? It's okay. It's fine. He killed the car. It's not the end of the world, it's just a car. Oh. Oh. I'm surprised it hasn't blew, blew up. Holy shit! What's the plan? Cameron, it's my fault. It is, kind of, yeah. Well, wait for your father to come home and when he gets here, I'll tell him that I did it. He hates me anyway. I wonder why. No. I'll take it. No, I'll take it. Cameron's gonna stand up against his dad. When Morris comes home, he and I'll just have a little chat. Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna get to see that. I can assure you that her father and I are going to have a long talk with oh, her. Oh, they're kissing. They're kissing. Thank you so much. Oh, they're kissing. I see them. <clears throat> hi. Don't hi me, young lady. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Okay? Yes. He looks like death warmed up. Okay, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what you were doing when you woke up this morning, didn't you? I think he's had it planned for a while. Aww. Young love. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. I love you. I love you, too. Aww. He's gonna marry me. <laughs> That's so sweet. My fair as a car. <laughs> Oh, that was lucky. You almost got run over and caught, and I don't know which one would have been worse. <laughs> You're gonna get arrested again. <laughs> hey, you just told someone you loved them. It's not fair. Everyone's just so in their own world. Nobody sees anything. <laughs> That's your dad again. Hey, it smells delicious. It is ready. What? <laughs> By the time he gets back, he is going to be sweaty and his hands will be clammy and he'll have a fever and... Everyone will think he's really not well. Speeding ticket, another speeding ticket, and I lost the Vermont deal because of her. I think we should shoot her. Shoot her? <laughs> oh, have you been waiting there the whole time? <laughs> I've got you right where I want you. Barris, we're home. I got all the flowers. How would you feel about another year of high school under my clothes? Oh, your sister's going to save your ass. Thank God you're all right. You know, we've been worried sick about you. Thank you, Mr. Rooney, for driving him home and get in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do as you're told. By the way, Mr. Rooney, you left your wallet on the kitchen oh, floor. Oh, yeah, so we did. Go fetch. No. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Wait, did the head teacher take all the flowers inside? <laughs> Was he there all day? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do it. 
Look at his bedroom. Such a boy bedroom. How'd you get to be so sweet? Mm, years of practice. <laughs> Sons get away with murder. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. That's true. You're right there. Oh no. Oh, it's a school bus. Hey, Mr. Rooney. <laughs> Want a lift? No. <laughs> Not with a bunch of kids. <laughs> They'll never let you forget. You're still here? Yeah. It's over. Go home. Well, but I am home. <laughs> there was more happening. Go. <laughs> I am home. <laughs> oh, that was lots and lots and lots and lots of fun. Guys, it may surprise you to know because I am a sweet, innocent, adult child i may have took a couple days off just a couple but you know they were never like this i just wandered <laughs> i wandered about it was a very very 80s movie and i like the 80s so i enjoyed it a lot it was so funny i think american schools are fascinating they're so different to our schools completely different even like the school buses was that high school it wasn't college no the reason i was thinking maybe college was because in one of the classes the way they were sit seated the setup of the room looked like a college class but then the other one that we saw was like a proper high school class i don't know <laughs> I, don't, I just don't know so i know that his sister was mindy and friends but i think she's also in dirty dancing because there was a big thing that she cha totally changed her face and then she was in friends after dirty dancing and then i must have been after this as well because she looks completely different and then nobody knew it was her until they saw like her name in the credits and then they were like what and it's her so that is how i know of her and then i told you how i know of matthew project and i don't think i've actually ever seen him in anything obviously i know simba because everyone everyone has seen the lion king yeah i don't think i've watched him in anything before and i i've never seen him that young but i don't think he's as young as he's meant to look because of the beard and he had wrinkles and stuff so i think he's older than the part that he plays also his best friend cameron looks like the guy from 13 reasons why and oh yeah charlie sheen we saw him too i've always liked him i always thought he was funny in two and a half men i watched that a lot a lot a lot a lot i don't think i recognized anyone else why are the american family homes always so massive and who can afford these homes and tell me how i'm not the slightest bit jealous fun fact i almost moved to america i almost moved to texas very 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 close to and then things started happening that meant I was very scared to do it. So then I decided against it. But yeah, it was very close. It was actually like house hunting as well. And the houses that I was looking at, I was like, how are they so cheap? But then I think the, at the time the cost of living was higher. So I don't know what my story was there. I just wanted you to know that I almost lived in America. And I would still move just for the sun. <laughs> no other reason, just for sun. Okay, back to the movie. Very funny, very enjoyed it. It was, it was, it was, not what I thought it was going to be. I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, and I would have liked to have seen Cameron talking to his dad because I wanted to see how that went. I'd have been rooting for him. And you know, it would have been nice to see his dad's face when he saw his car. Should I check out any other Matthew Project movies or is he maybe only in this one? Maybe he just did this movie, then did no more, married Sarah Jessica Parker and now he is the uh, how house husband if you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning on staying and you haven't already then please subscribe and i'm still a little bit not well i'm sure you can tell because i'm very nasally but i can't sometimes i can't think what i'm saying what am i even saying patreon check out patreon comment subscribe like post notifications all that good stuff you know what to do because you do it already just keep doing it and i am off thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye